So, we start with this concept of limit. Now, limit, the concept arises when you have a variable x. And how does it affect a particular function? And a function is given by f of x, which we also call it as y. So, y can have various combinations of x. So, suppose various values of x you have, at x will attain, at suppose x has a value y, suppose you have the function y is equal to say x square um, say plus 36 upon x plus 2. Suppose you have a function like this and you want to check what is the function, suppose x is equal to 2, what does f of x become? So, as x comes closer and closer to 2, f of x will attain a value 2 square plus 36 upon 2 plus 2, which turns out to be 36 plus 4, 40 by 4, 10. Easy. Done. Very easily you can say that as x's value is 10, then f of x is 10. So, if you take some value less than x, so suppose you have 1.5, in that case, what will be f of x will become 1.5 square plus 36 upon 1.5 plus 2, which turns out to be 10.92 so it becomes something like 10.92 or something like this. So, this is the value it turns out to be. So, you find that you want to find what is the value it attains if it is divided, if x is 2. So, you get the value of f of x as 2 and when it is 1.5, 10 point. So, as you keep changing the values of 2, you get the various. So, you are limiting, you want to find out what is the limit of this function. What is the maximum value you get? Suppose it is 2. So, this is very simple. Suppose I want to find the limit of this function when x is equal to 2. What is the value it will attain? What is the maximum value it will attain? Will y attain when x is equal to 2? Is you say this is the limit is say 10. But suppose there are certain functions wherein in such cases since the expression is can be value of this function can be directly obtained by substituting the value of x. We say the value of y when x is equal to 2 itself is the limit because that is a maximum value it can attain for that particular value of x. But suppose you have a function like this, say x square minus 9 and x minus 3. Can we do the same exercise? I want to find out what is the limit of this function. What is the value of this maximum value this function can attain when x is equal to 3? Now suppose you, if that is the case, in that case f of 3 would be 3 square minus 9 upon 3 minus 3 which is whatever is a value upon 0 which is undefined which is not at all defined. So, we cannot say that the limit of this particular function is something defined by 0. In such cases a function itself is indeterminate. So, what do we do in such cases? Yes, the when the value of x is 3 it is indeterminate but suppose what will be f of 2.9? What will be f of 2.9? We need to see. So, that will turn out to be 2.9. It will turn out to be minus 0 0.59 upon minus 0 0.1. So, you will find that its value is becoming what are closer to minus 0 point minus 0 that will turn out to be around 59 right or sorry 5.9 it turns out to be. So, you find that f of 2.9 is 5.9. Similarly, you find f of 2.99 you will find in such cases that it is it could be 5 it will be a little more than 5.98 or something. So, you find in such cases that as you keep moving, when the value of x is 3, the value of the function is indeterminate, is undefined. But as it comes closer in, it should not be 3, but maybe a little less than 3. Even f of 2.99999 
you find that it will come still closer closer and closer you find that these values of these are not becoming undefined but they are becoming closer and closer to 6 so we say that as x approaches 3 the function approaches 6 because you find that when f of 2.9 is 5.9 and f of 2.99 is 5.98 something f of 2.999 is 5.99 you find these values are moving closer and closer to 6 because I repeat unlike this particular example wherein the function itself is determinate the value of the function the limit of the function can be directly obtained by substituting the value of x but this was something which everybody understood but later on when mathematicians started working and the concept of indeterminate concept the definition of division by zero leading to an indeterminate or undefined concept came so, so for functions like these the standard method of calculating the limit by just substituting the corresponding value of x did not help because you get an undefined so you consider the values just less than the given value of x in that case so that the denominator does not become zero and various values are substituted and you find that the way as the value of x comes closer and closer to the given value the value of the function also comes closer and closer to a given particular value and hence the concept of limit was more much better established so this is certain amount of idea of what you mean by limit so as you approach the x's value approaches 3, f of x also approaches 6. So this is some idea of what you mean by limits. Now here we have a very interesting example. So you have this particular pit on the road and you can approach this pit from here. As you come closer and closer to this part, the vehicle could fall inside but you won't allow the vehicle to what you will just come here and just stop it here so you won't come and come and the vehicle is not going it might come and just stop here and it won't fall inside because you don't want the vehicle to fall inside so as the distance from the pit goes on and goes on closer you're reaching the limit similarly even the vehicle could move from here like this as you as the vehicle comes closer and closer the danger of it falling inside the pit goes on increasing and it might just come and stop here so the limit is the danger and how what is the variable the distance from the pit as the distance from the pit goes on decreasing the danger of falling inside the pit goes on increasing of course this is not a quantifiable quantity but since it's a real life example you can slightly draw you can easily draw the parallels between the concept of the variable and how the function attains a limiting value. So this way we have examples wherein you can just understand what a limit could be. Now we will also understand, take more examples of functions and do. Now again we further expand the example, what are limits, what is the value of x square plus 4 and suppose so this is going to be the function which is also we also call it as y. So at x is equal to 2 means what is the value that the function will attain? How will the function limit itself to when x is equal to 2? In such a case, f of 2 we say f of 2 is going to be 2 squared plus 4 upon 2 plus 2. So that is 4 plus 4, 8 by 4 which is 2. Simple. So at x is equal to 2, we say the limit of this function is also 2. That means when x is equal to 2, the function attains the value 2 because that is the maximum value it can attain when x is equal to 2, right? So this is very directly, in such cases you find that we, for simple example, we write it and denote it this way, limit as x approaches 2 is equal to f of 2 itself because this is a determinate quantity in such as x approaches 2, the value, the limit of the function as x approaches 2 is the function for the value when x is equal to 2 f of 2 itself so in such cases it is fine which is understandable by just substituting the value of x but suppose you have this kind of a situation in this case you have 
f of x and you're being asked to find what it limit what is limit of f of x as x approaches 2 now suppose you try to do 2 square minus 4 upon 2 minus 2 you get 0 upon 0 which is absolutely undefined you say it is undefined in such cases how can we do this kind of a how can you find the limit in such cases one way of doing it is when x is equal to 2 when x is equal to 2 the value of the function is 0 when x is not 2 it is not the value of the function sorry when x is equal to 2 the value of the function is undefined that means when x is not 2 it is defined so any value other than 2 you could take 1.999 or 2.999 or 2.001 take some value closest to 2 and find the value of the function and you will find that it goes close to a particular function but that could be a difficult way of doing it because you have to do a lot of calculation another way of doing is simplify this particular function x square minus 4 upon x minus 2 can be written as x minus 2 into x plus 2 upon x minus 2 now whatever be the value of x x minus 2 divided by x minus 2 is bound to get turning out to be 1 so ultimately this function's determinate value is x plus 2 now in such cases f of 2 would be 2 plus 2 that is 4 and this itself is the limit of f of x as x approaches 2 so in such cases where the function could turn out to be the value of the function turn out to be indeterminate for a specific value of the variable just because the denominator is 0 then in such cases either we consider value closest to the variable if you're taking x closest to the variable substitute and find the value and you'll find that the function will be take two or three values closest to the variable and you'll be able to see a trend of f of x at f of x goes closer and closer to a particular value then you call that as a limit in fact this is the way mathematicians actually establish the concept of limit for undefined or the functions which are not defined for specific values of the variable or the other way is simplify the function by factorizing it and cancel out the common factor and afterwards you can substitute the value of x and that itself will give you the limit now we can understand this in a but better way so what is the value of x square minus 4 it is indeterminate so how to solve this equations we said we did one method of doing it is by simplifying it by factorizing as i told x minus 2 into x plus 2 upon x minus 2 and the common factor gets cancelled after which f of x limit of f of x as x approaches 2 is the same as f of 2 in such cases 2 plus 2 4 in such cases how we solve the equation like this yet another way of solving the equation is like this see another way we as we did earlier also so instead of x is equal to 2 let's try to approach function closer to 2 so what you're doing you're taking values <coughs> of x from 1.5 you're increasing 1.9 1.99 1.999 and so on and so forth x, as x approaches these various values you'll find that f of x also changes say this is 3.5 we substitute x as 1.5 here it is 3.9 here it is 3.99 here it is 3.999 and so on and you find the value f of x from 3.5 it is going closer and closer to 4 so in such cases you find that the value of the function as you when x is equal to 2 the function has no determinate value but as you keep increasing the value of x from a lower value closest to 2 but not equal to 2 you will find that the function's value goes on becoming closer and closer to another value 4 so in such cases we can say that the limit of this function when x is equal to 2 as x approaches 2 is 4 now now in such cases you, there is also something else interesting so you have your approaching 2 from smaller values 1.5 and so on from smaller values you are approaching 2 but still not making it equal to 2 and you find 
that f of x is reaching. But suppose you have also, so you find that it is going closer. So we say the limit of x square minus 4 upon x minus 2 as x approaches 2 is 4 and we express it this way. See, express as limit of this particular function x square minus 4 upon x minus 2 as x approaches 2 is 4. So this is how we can do it either by taking values closer to 2 and substituting and you will find that the value of the function approaches or factorize the do factorization exercise and cancel away the common factors. Now similarly here what have we done the same function was if you remember if we just to recall y which is nothing but f of x was x square minus 4 upon x minus 2. Now let us do one another exercise. Now this is 2 and you are approaching 2 from 2 point you are substituting the various values of x but not equal to 2. So 2.001 etc. So you find that it is 4.5 f of x turns out to be 4.5 in such cases when x is 2.1 it is 4.1 then it is 4.01, then it is 4.001 and of course at 2 the value is indeterminate. But you observe that as the value of x decreases from a higher value towards 2 but not becoming equal to 2, you find that the value of the function that is y or f of x is also coming closer and closer to a particular value and we see that that particular value that it is coming to is 4. So we are looking at what the limit of the function is of this particular function as x comes closer and closer to 2 or in simple parlance we say as x approaches 2. So when you have, uh, x approaches 2 in the previous table we took values coming closer to 2 from a smaller value and here we took various values starting from 2.5 and coming closer and closer to 2. So we say this is the right hand limit. So we say we are, in, we are bringing the value from a greater value towards 2 and here from a lower value towards 2 whichever way as you approach 2 whether from a smaller value towards 2 for the variable or the value of x increases decreases from greater values towards 2 we say that the value of the function approaches 4 whether it's this way or this way whether you're increasing bringing the value close to 2 from a higher value or lower value so in such cases we say limit of this particular function function as x approaches 2 is nothing but 4. So this simple example if we thoroughly understand we understand that you find the value of this function itself is 4 and that we say that the limit is the that is the limit of this function as x approaches 